Forget cats and dogs, these extraordinary pets break all the rules, yet these deadly animals have all been domesticated by their unorthodox donors, proving that you can think outside the box when it comes to adopting an animal companion. If you thought your dog had a mean bark, wait until you see these petrifying pets. These are the 15 most dangerous animals kept as pets. <coughs> Little Boy and His Python Most little boys befriend a puppy or a kitten, but this kid is one of a kind. Sambath found himself with a peculiar playmate after his mother found a tiny snake in the house in Setbo Village, Cambodia. She kept the small serpent after dreaming about a great snake that protected her family, but little did she know that the python would grow up to have such an unusual bond with her son. Three-month-old Sambath loved his new friend so much that they would hug, cuddle, and even sleep together in his crib. They named the python Cam Rowan, which translates to progress in English, and the little boy even learned to crawl alongside the baby snake who was just starting to slither. Before they knew it, this dangerous creature had grown into a 16-foot-long, 220-pound snake, but by then, their bond was already unbreakable, and the boy and the snake's unusual friendship started to gain attention around the world. Twelve miles south from Cambodia's capital of Nam Pen, tourists started to travel to check out the kinship between this young boy and the gigantic python. This snake even had its own 7 by 10 10-foot room, complete with a little spirit house where Sambath's father would pray that the huge python would keep their family safe. However, it looks like this love story has a not-so-happy ending. When this enormous snake bit the boy, the family was forced to give up their fanged family member. Sambath was heartbroken, but reportedly told the press that he wants his next pet to be a bunny rabbit. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. This insane image surfaced on the web a few years ago, and we've wondered who this wolf woman is ever since. These gigantic wolves would normally run wild in the forests of Alaska, Canada, or even Russia. However, here they seem to be on a leash at the command of a mysterious girl. Could there be corners of the earth where keeping deadly wolves as a pet is a way of life? After all, we know that there are sledders in the Arctic who keep entire packs of huskies at home. Perhaps wolves make loyal companions too. So what do you guys think? Are these giant beasts really part of the family? Join the conversation by using the hashtag missing topic. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Russian breakfast with a bear. Most people would run from this ursine creature, but this Russian family welcomed a giant brown bear into their home with open arms. Stepan has lived with the Pantelinko family for over 25 years after being adopted at just three months old. <laughs> He's a real member of the family. This adorable bear even eats at the table and cuddles up on the couch to watch his favorite shows. Yeah, we know what you're thinking. It's pretty unusual to live with a gigantic brown bear, but Svlitlana and Yuri have an extremely special bond with this wild animal. They found Stepan as a tiny cub orphaned in the woods near Moscow and nursed him back to health, eventually adopting the bear as if he were their own child. The brown bear is totally tame and has even officiated at a wedding. Come on, how awesome would it be to get married by a bear. Stepan probably wouldn't have survived by himself in the wild, so it seems as though he was pretty blessed to have been adopted by his human parents. What do you guys think? Should wild animals stay in the wild? <laughs> Kojek, the croc. We can't think of a creature that would make much more of an unlikely pet. This domesticated croc lived like one of the family in Bogor, West Java for more than 21 years. Erwan and his wife even described Kojek as one of their grandchildren, even though he's 9 feet tall and 900 kilograms. While owning exotic animals is a common occurrence in Indonesia, keeping a gigantic croc as a pet certainly is unusual. This is one brave couple. They adopted the dangerous reptile when it was just a tiny baby, measuring a measly 10 centimeters. However, this cute critter eventually grew up. They fed their pet crocodile a whopping 2 kilograms of fish every day, and, and their human grandchildren even brushed the reptile's teeth. 
with no fear for their safety. Looks like Kojak really was domesticated. However, after viral vids of Kojak started to circulate online, officials from the Natural Resources Conservation Agency came to remove Kojak from Irwan and his family's home. Much to their heartbreak, crocs are a protected animal under Indonesian law, and he was taken to Taman Safari Conservation Park. Vets put Kojak on a strict diet due to all the treats he had been eating at home. This sad separation was ultimately for the best, and Kojak got to live a life more suited for a croc. <laughs> Lion Cubs for the Grandkids These unbelievable pets had a rough start in life. When Palestinian refugee Saad al-Jamal saw these two-month-old lion cubs at Rafah Zoo, he fell in love with the captive cats. The zoo had been damaged by airstrikes, and so Saad decided to adopt these majestic creatures and take them home to the al Shabora refugee camp in the southern Gaza Strip. These big cats soon became a part of the family, and they named the female cub Mona and the male one Alex. His six grandchildren loved playing with the cubs, and they would run around the apartment and play fight out in the streets. However, cute little cubs don't stay cute little cubs forever. Before long, these small lions were starting to grow up and become more and more fearsome. Pretty soon, they were becoming a burden, and keeping up with their huge appetites for meat was proving to be expensive. The animal welfare group Four Paws intervened when Alex and Mona were being kept confined inside and took responsibility for the big cats. Maybe lions don't make the best pets after all. Hmm, looks like it's just the circle of life. <laughs> The Hyena Man Hyenas are known for being vicious, ruthless scavengers who will kill humans in a heartbeat. In fact, most communities in Africa will avoid contact with these wild animals at all costs. However, in some countries, people have learned to live alongside the cackling hyenas, even feeding and petting them. In horror Ethiopia, humans and hyenas have lived peacefully for 200 years after a rocky history. Centuries ago, hyenas used to attack townspeople until they came up with a smart solution. They carved holes in the city walls and threw scraps of meat out to keep the beasts at bay. Since then, people like Abaz Youssef have used this technique to feed and train the ferocious hyenas and even attract crowds of tourists. He's even known as the Hyena Man, and he inherited the unusual skill from his father, who also managed to tame these wild beasts. In Abaju, Nigeria's capital, there are groups of nomadic people who learn to train the feared hyena as children. They handle the wild dog with no fear, partly due to their unique relationship with hyenas. They are my friends partly due to a mysterious medicine that the so-called hyena men drink for courage and strength. You can even see these guys commanding the deadly animals to sit and actually hugging the hyenas. We can't believe that these dangerous animals could really be kept as pets. <laughs> Mezzi, the mountain lion. Anyone who lives with a cat will know exactly how fierce and independent these strong-minded felines can be. Now, house cats are one thing, but a mountain lion in your apartment is a whole nother story. Mariah and Alexander Dimitriev adopted their puma after spotting him at Saranx Zoo in Penza at just eight months old. They fell in love with the furry cub and managed to convince zookeepers to let them take him home. Shockingly, they agreed, and this brave Russian couple fell in love with their dream pet. Mezzi the Puma is now a 90-pound, fully-grown adult and shares a small studio apartment with his new human owners. They even converted their hallway into a lion's den, complete with a tree, hidey holes, and walls made of bamboo. It seems like Mezzi is living his best life. Mariah and Alexander take their pampered Puma out for walks, feed him a diet of raw meat, and take him for training sessions four times a week. He even has his very own Instagram account, along with 1.4 million followers who tune in to see the this wild cat's antics. However, it seems that Mezzi isn't totally accepted by everyone in the family yet. Their other cat, a sphinx, hisses and bats Mezzi away with his paws if he comes too close. That's one courageous kitty. <coughs> Doc Anno's Tiger Collection Bhagavan may have found international fame on the hit Netflix show Tiger King, but he's been a well-known animal trainer for decades. You may know him best as Doc Anno, the founder of the Institute for Greatly Endangered and Rare Species, a 50-acre wildlife preserve in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Doc has trained over 400 big cats and handles many exotic animals, and raised his first ever tiger cub in 1982. Since then, he's made a name for himself in the animal handling world, and has even worked on films such as Dr. Doolittle and 
and Ace Ventura's pet detective. He famously joined Britney Spears on stage during the MTV VMAs in 2001, where he wrangled his pet tiger as Spears danced with one of his pythons. More recently, Doc was featured in a sensational Tiger King docuseries, which made a string of wild claims about his Myrtle Beach Wildlife Preserve. However, the Doc called the show a quasi-fictional drama, more focused on shock value and titillation than fact. Anno, who was brought up on a cattle ranch, is now passing on his love of exotic pets to his son, Cody, who's been nicknamed the real-life Tarzan. Save the tiger, we can save the world. If we let the tiger go, we're losing a piece of ourselves forever. <laughs> Rare Servo Cat this couple would never be happy with your average tabby cat. They've become the first people in the UK to own a rare and exotic serval cat, and they even needed a special license to keep this ferocious cat. The wild cat has to stay contained within a secure garden with a high fence, and the doors and windows of the house have to remain closed at all times in case he tries to escape. The Manchester couple feed their big cat about 20 British pounds worth of chicks, mice, and even rabbits every week, and it's currently about three feet long with room to grow. As you can see he's got really long legs a really long neck and those massive ears. Those ears are used for hearing one of their favorite prey, which is rodents. The exotic pet owners named this African wild cat Anibis, and he's most certainly not their first dangerous pet. They also have a QVA dwarf caiman, which is a small breed of crocodile. This isn't your typical British house. In fact, it's more like a zoo. Their children, aged four and ten, aren't phased at all by their dangerous pets, and Anibis even sleeps in his owner's bed at night. <laughs> Rex the water monitor. This definitely isn't your average pet. In fact, animal experts claim that the water monitor is actually impossible to domesticate due to the fact that they're so aggressive and dangerous. The water monitor has been known to crush bones in humans, and it's also highly venomous. A bite from one of these giant lizards can result in excessive bleeding and swelling, and they can grow to over seven feet in length. However, these freaky facts didn't put off the owner of Rex the water monitor. She adopted Rex when he was just two months old, and named him Rex because he looked so much like a terrifying Tyrannosaurus Rex. Big fatty when we got him. Uh, he's about uh, two or three months old. Just a hatchling. This long lizard was raised with dogs and dines on an unusual diet of rabbits and squirrels. This huge beast weighs 50 pounds. While Rex may look pretty harmless, monitor lizards are a growing trend in the United States, with more and more people keeping them as pets. Rex even dresses up as a dragon for Halloween. <laughs> Would you ever adopt one of these terrifying reptiles? <laughs> Hulk and his dynasty. Meet Hulk the largest pit bull in the world. This enormous dog weighs a staggering 174 pounds. His proud owners, Marlon and Lisa Grinnan, are the founders of Dark Dynasty Canines in New Hampshire, and they train their dogs specifically for protection services. When Hulk fathered eight pit bull puppies, each one of them were expected to fetch a whopping $55,000. That's one expensive guard pup. Yeah, Hulk has some seriously strong genes, and his fantastic qualities are highly coveted. This pit bull papa and his pups live together as a pack without fences or barriers, and they're so well behaved that they can interact with young children. This gentle, well-balanced family is a stark contrast to how the rest of the world often views this misunderstood breed. The pit bull has been bred to fight and attack, and has even been known to maw humans. One study even claimed that while pit bulls make up 6% of the dog population, they're actually responsible for 68% of dog attacks. Famous dogs on the planet right now. It's about 180 pounds, which makes him one of the largest pit bulls in the world. What do you guys think of the Hulk? Is he the perfect ambassador for the pit bull breed? <laughs> the Lion Whisperer Kevin Richardson was nicknamed the Lion Whisperer by a British newspaper back in 2007, and the name seems to have stuck. This big cat lover runs his very own wildlife sanctuary near Johannesburg, South Africa, and a viral video of Kevin playing with his lions has been viewed more than 25 million times on YouTube. Yeah, Richardson is a very unique individual and has loved lions ever since he first worked at Lion Park in 1998. One day he bonded with two seven-month-old cubs named Tao and Napoleon and he visited them every day for the next eight months, forming a lifelong connection that would change the rest of his life. The lions adored Richardson and his confidence to roar and interact with them. Today, he's devoted his entire career to opposing the trophy hunting of lions. He's realizing that it's not about biting Kevin's hand off. Uh, she could have a good gnaw on it if she bites me too hard. 
she'll get a little bit of a, a warning on her nose. And he has a strict no breeding policy at his wildlife sanctuary. Just look at the way these lions worship Richardson. No wonder they call him the Lion Whisperer. Travis, the chimp, goes ape. One of the most famous cases of exotic pets gone wild is the tale of Travis the chimp. This household pet was raised in Connecticut by Sandra Harold, who adopted the wild animal when he was just a tiny chimpanzee. The two did everything together, and Travis was like any other child. However, as he reached adulthood, problems started to arise. This fully grown chimpanzee was insanely strong and super powerful, and over the years, it seemed as though Travis was starting to question his place in the human world he had been raised in. Disaster struck when the chimp lashed out one day, committing a horrific attack that left Sandra's friend scarred for life. Send the police! Send the What's the problem there? The, the chimp killed my, my friend! This totally unexpected travity took the world by surprise and served as a visceral warning as to how dangerous pet chimpanzees really are. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica the Hippo Jessica spends her days in the river of Hoodsprite, South Africa and sleeps in her owner's house by night. Yeah, Jessica is no typical pet, and this gentle giant is one of the only pet hippos in the world. The hippopotamus is one of the most dangerous creatures in Africa, and it's estimated that they kill around 500 people every year, and they're super territorial. However, Jessica has been raised by her owners, Tony and Shirley Jubert, as if she was one of the family. Her calm and graceful nature makes her one of the most unique hippos on earth, and tourists are even invited to join Jessica and the family for feeding time. For a small fee, Tony has a background as a park ranger and took in the hippo when her mother was found lying at the border of Kruger Park. Ever since then, this 2,200-pound hippo has been living a charmed life at her human family's picturesque home and putting a smile on thousands of tourist faces. Tyson's Tiger Tyrants World-famous boxing champion Mike Tyson may be known for his wild behavior, but did you know that he was once notorious for his wild pets? Yeah, Tyson placed an order for his pet tigers while he was still in prison, and the heavyweight champion even kept them in his home for over a decade. Now, that's one house that you definitely wouldn't dare to trespass into. However, that is allegedly what happened when a woman on Mike Tyson's property was involved in a tragic accident with one of his beloved white tigers. Tyson claimed that he paid out a cool $250,000 as compensation to this uninvited guest whose hand was severely mauled by the big cat. Since that incident, Incident. The boxer has come to realize that these rare and exotic predators cannot be domesticated, and he donated the animals to a sanctuary after 14 years in his care. Nowadays, Mike Tyson has found a forever friend in his beloved poodle. Now, that sounds like a much more sensible pet, don't you think? Pet Buffalo Now we've seen all kinds of pets before, but we've never seen a pet buffalo. Jim Soutner is famous in his small town of Spruce Grove in Alberta, Canada for bringing his fluffy friend with him wherever he goes. The enormous creature, who goes by the name of Bailey Jr., even joins Jim at the bar for a cold beer. This hefty 800-pound buffalo is 6 feet tall and 8 feet in length, but Soutner swears that he doesn't have an aggressive bone in his body. That I would see such a huge, powerful, unpredictable animal behave so gingerly in a home. Jim and his wife Linda have bottle-fed Bailey Jr. ever since he was a baby, and the oversized buffalo was treated as though he's their own child. Soutner even had his 987 Pontiac Bonneville converted so that his big buffalo could join him on his road trips. We don't know about you, but this buffalo kinda looks like an awesome pet. What a wild bunch. I think we'll stick to our cats and dogs. So which one of these dangerous animals could you see yourself owning as a pet? Let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching Missing Files.